Hello, my name's Suki Belendra and I'm the Life Sciences Lead for the NIHR Clinical Research Network. And the NIHR is the National Institute of Health Research. So I'm based at Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust. And my role involves working with the life sciences industry, which I'm extremely passionate about. I have the opportunity to work with industry from the NHS perspective across organisational boundaries. We share ideas and expertise. And the main aspect of my role is promoting the Northwest London region to the life sciences industry to showcase the expertise and the opportunities in working in our region. So a typical day for me involves working with a company, perhaps meeting a new company that I haven't met before. They could be a large um, life sciences company or a small biotech company. And the format of the meeting, if we've never met before, would be to meet um, representative, representatives from the company alongside my colleagues from the partner organisations within our region. So that could be staff from the research and development teams within the trust um, and clinical leads from across the organisations. And we work regionally together to showcase what we can do in the region and showcase the opportunities in working in our area. So socially, it's a great place to work. We, we have quizzes and various opportunities for us to social, socially interact. Of course, things have been difficult in the pandemic, but we have tried to ensure we maintain that contact even if it's online. And where uh, restrictions have eased and where we've been allowed to, I've always taken the opportunity to meet colleagues face to face, whether it be for coffee or for lunch, because I believe it is so important to keep that face to face contact as much as possible with the people that we work with. So I've been in my current role in one shape or form for the um, NIHR for just under 15 years. And my um, qualifications and experience started uh, with um, a BSc in biochemistry. I then went straight on to do uh, a PhD in biochemistry at the University of Warwick. And my first role after graduating was straight into industry. So in a manufacturing environment, I worked for Abbott Diagnostics for just under five years. And it was there that my interest in process improvement in a manufacturing set setting started and I was able to carry on that um, interest through into clinical research and academia. And that is where my passion really grew for working with the life sciences industry. I decided on a career in the pharmaceutical industry quite early on whilst I was doing my PhD at the time. The, the feeling was that it was really important to, to get straight into industry. Um, and I felt that that was uh, the right path for me rather than pursuing uh, an academic um, career path. Although in the end, I ended up working in academia again. Um, I'm very fortunate to have ended up in a role that I really get the benefits of working both 
in industry and NHS and academia. I also had the uh, really privileged experience of spending a year in central government. So I was working in the Office for Life Sciences for, for one year. And that gave me the opportunity to really see the policy development from government and how that develops and cascades down into the NHS. And so some of the policies that I was involved um, in working on in the Office for Life Sciences, when I went back to my role in the NHS, I was able to um, be involved in the implementation of that policy at a local level. And that was a hugely rewarding experience.